Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to talk about a very important skill, annotating. I hate annotating, Miss Lai. I know, Chloe, but here's the thing. Annotations can actually help when you're reading. And if you're making good annotations, it can help you through the critical thinking process. So it's really a best practice for all readers of all levels. I just really don't know how to do it, and it takes so much time. Well, Chloe, I'm here to help you. Today we're going to talk about nonfiction and how you would annotate it. So the first thing to remember is to look at the title and then consider the author's point of view as you read. Oh, I know what you mean. Are you talking about first person, second person? Like if I write a book about me and I talk about me in the book and say I, that would be first person, right? I'm impressed that you remembered that, but this is a little bit different. So when I'm talking about point of view, we want to consider the point the author's trying to make. First of all, remember, everybody is usually writing to either entertain, persuade, or inform. Pi, persuade, entertain, inform. Then you have to look deeper at each paragraph to try to determine what it is they're trying to either persuade you on inform you about, or just entertain you. Next thing you have to do is chunk the text as you read each paragraph and look for repeating ideas, motifs. You want to ask yourself, what's the point the author's trying to make? And your annotation should be five words or less. Keep it simple and try to simply summarize the main point the author is making in each section. Let's try one. I'm going to read a paragraph and you tell me what you think the point is. Here we go. Before you put on that skeleton costume and rove door to door pandering for candy, take a minute to reflect on the tradition. Halloween is believed to have come from an ancient Celtic festival dating back 2,000 years. November 1st was the Celtic New Year and marked the end of the summer to the Celts. They celebrated on its eve by wearing costumes made of animal skin and dancing around bonfires. Over the next two millennia, this primitive celebration grew to be the candy-fueled custom ball that we know today. Okay, what do you think, Chloe? What's the point? Well, I think it's about how Halloween originated. Very good. I think you're getting the hang of it. Sometimes it's a little more difficult, Chloe. You might read a really long paragraph or a really boring paragraph and not be able to understand the point they're making. If this happens, Always pay close attention to the first sentence and the last sentence of each paragraph because usually you'll find the point they're making within those two sentences. But if you don't understand those sentences, try to find a point within the paragraph. And remember, look for those ideas that repeat and then make a note of it. And Let's pretend you don't actually understand one or two paragraphs. Everything is not lost. If you keep reading, you'll notice some trends and you'll still be able to determine the point the author's making. So don't focus on what you don't understand. Focus on what you do understand and you'll be just fine. I hope this has helped, Chloe. I look forward to talking to you soon. Keep reading and annotating.